is the next problem and uh, this is similar to the problem that we already dealt in, uh, in our uh, theory. So here B is the sun gear here and A is the you know, uh, planet gear here and uh, OA is the arm and uh, it uh, revolves counterclockwise. This is a revolve, so arm is revolving like this about O with angular velocity 4 radian per second. So we will write uh, you yeah, know, NA equal to 4 radian per second. So this is a counterclockwise. CC counterclockwise CC and uh, both gears are of the same side. These two are the same size and the angular velocity of gear C if the sun gear is fixed. So this is a fixed and uh, we need to find out the N NC. So again the same procedure. So first we consider the arm is a fixed one. So arm A is a fixed one and the gear B here what is the gear B? This is the sun gear. So choosing the arm and uh, in all these examples, choosing arm and uh, sun gear is uh, very much important. So you can choose anything, but uh, choosing the arm is very, very important here. So arm A is fixed and uh, gear B is one revolution. So what happened when arm A is fixed? So this is a zero revolution and uh, here we need to find out N B and then N C. So what is the value of N B? This is one, revolution, one rotation is making and N C. This is a minus of T, TB by TC, TB by TC and these, these are of equal gears are same size. So this will become 1 and Y minus sign because these are you now rotating in the opposite direction. For example, if it is rotating in this direction, this is rotating in the clockwise direction. So that's why there is a negative sign and now gear B is X rotation then still it is a 0 and this is x and this is a minus x and now this is a y rotation arm a is y rotation then we will add simply we will add because this is a case 3 this is a case 3 equal to case 1 plus case 2 so for more clarity you refer to our theory lecture here so this is a case 3 so we simply add to the everything. So here it will become like this. And it's given that you know y equal to 4 here and uh, nb equal to 0. We need to find out nc. nb equal to 0 that means equal to x plus y equal to 0. That means x equal to minus y. And what is the value of nc? That equal to y minus x. So y minus x is equal to 2 into y. So this is a h. So these two are in the same direction. So here it is also positive and this is also positive and uh, we have assumed this positive value is a counterclockwise. So that uh, NC also in the counterclockwise. So what is the answer here? It's a B. This is our next problem asked in 2001 and here the sun is rotating and uh, this is a ring gear. This is a internal gear, ring gear and uh, this is the sun and this is a planetary and uh, this is a R. And uh, here given that uh, sun is rotating. So N S equal to it's rotating clockwise at 100 rpm. So this is a 100 rpm. So clockwise. And uh, the ring is fixed. So when ring is fixed, then N R equal to zero. Then we need to find out to uh, N R. So again we will continue with the same procedure. So here R A is fixed. This is a R A and this is a planet P, this is sun and this is ring and uh, gear sun is uh, having one rotation here then it, this is zero and uh, here we have uh, just no revolutions of the sun here we have uh, revolutions of the planet and uh, here we have a revolution of the ring so this is a uh, one revolution and the N and S are uh, engaged externally so that uh, it becomes a uh, minus no ts by tp so this is a revolution and here what is the value of nr so nr equal to here n ring is you know engaging only with the p so we can write only between these two velocity ratio between these two so that is the nr by np equal to these are you know internally engaged so there is no negative sign here so this is the tp by T R. 
and uh, what is the NP here? NP is this one from this one. So if I multiply with this one, what happens? So NR equal to minus TS by TP into TP by TR. Then we will get a minus TS by TR. Why? Because this uh, TP and TP will get cancelled. So this is the value here. And now here yes is having x rotations then in this case simply multiply with the you know x and if i substitute these values here planet what is the value of this you know sun 20 and planet is having 30 so 2 by 3 so minus 2x by 3 here and uh, what is the value here this is a 20 by 80 then uh, this is a minus uh, you know x by 4 here and uh, now what i do is arm arm is rota rotating so arm a is rotating so simply add y here so y plus x y and here you no know, y minus 2x by 3 and y minus x x by 4 but here nr is given 0 and n s equal to 100 so what is the nr here nr equal to 0 this this implies y minus x by 4 equal to 0 so x equal to 4 into y here and uh, what is the value of ns that is a x plus y equal to 100 then if i substitute x value from this one then phi by equal to 100 and y equal to 20 rpm then if i substitute these values in the n a n a is arm of this one is simply y that is equal to 20 rpm and uh, this is in the same direction of the ns that is uh, in the clockwise direction so answer is uh, b here uh, the sun gear is 2 which is a input shaft this is uh, having a uh, 20 teeth and uh, and uh, external gear is uh, somehow connected to external gear the planet gear 3 is a uh, 40 here the ring gear 5 is having a uh, 100 teeth and the ring gear is 5 is a fixed so here given that you know n5 equal to 0 fixed one and the gear 2 is rotating so sun is rotating n2 equal to 50 counterclockwise direction so this is rpm then the arm 4 attached to the counter shaft will rotate at again you know like a previous case we need to find out the n n4 r equal to n r so again we will consider no this is the sun so arm is fixed r4 is fixed and the gear 2 is uh, making some rotation so n4 here this is a n2 this is m3 and uh, this is n5 so what is this value 0 and uh, here also 0 what is this value 1 and uh, what is the n3 n3 equal to minus of you know t2 by t4 t3 sorry t2 by t3 so 20 by 40 so that is a 1 by 2 and here what is the value of here this is a minus a t2 by t5 if you remember from the previous one t2 by t5 so t2 is 20 t5 is 50 is 100 so that is a 1 by 5 and if i you know multiply with the x here it will become like this so minus x by 5 and if i add by or the arm rotation this is arm is 4 then this is simply y plus y plus x and y minus x by 2 and then y minus x by 5 so here n5 equal to given 0 so that means you know y minus x by 5 equal to 0 this will become x equal to 5 into y and uh, n2 is 50 what is n2 here this is n2 so y plus x equal to 50 if i substitute x value from here then it will become 6y equal to 50 and uh, y equal to now here this value is not 50 rpm actually this we need to correct this one value so this is the 60 so when this is the 60 here when this is a 60 then y equal to 10 you know rpm so this is in the 
same direction because this is a positive and uh, the value that we considered here also positive then this is in the counter clockwise direction so uh, this is the answer here yeah. this is also similar to the previous one here 2 is the sun 3 is the planet 5 is the arm and 4 is the you know internal gear and uh, here it's a given like you know this is the 60 and 2 and on 3 on the planet 20 and on the external gear it's a 100 100 gears and uh, gear 2 is fixed that means sun gear is fixed so here n2 equal to 0 and the gear 4 is rotating with an angular velocity of 100 rpm the counter clockwise direction so it's given that n4 equal to 100 counter clockwise direction then we need to find out the arm 5 the angular velocity of this one so again the same case so first we will assume 5 is the fixed one and gear 2 is having one revolution and one rotation then this is the this is n5 this is n2 and write the n3 and then n4 so this is the zero value 1 and the minus here t2 by t3 so t2 is 60 t3 is 20 so 60 by 20 is a you know 3 and here minus t2 by t4 T2 is 60, T4 is 100, so it's a minus 0 0.6 here. And if I rotate, you know, with the x rotations, then it will become like this. And now I will add y rotations. Actually, y rotations are y revolutions. This is of arm 5. Then it's a simply addition. So this here is given n2 equal to 0 so this is equal to 0 then this means x plus y equal to 0 and uh, x equal to minus y and uh, here this is given 100 so this is y minus uh, 0 0.6 into x equal to 0 and if i substitute x equal to minus y then it will become y equal to sorry it's not it's 100 not 0 so what will happen then 100 by 1.6 so this is a 62.5 and this is a positive value and here whatever we took this is a positive value this positive value we have considered as a counterclockwise direction so this is also counterclockwise direction here.